This is a KGUN 9 on your side news update. Thanks for joining us. I'm Stella Inger. The man accused of kidnapping and killing two Tucson girls is asking to change his lawyer. Officials say Christopher Clemens murdered six-year-old Isabel Celis and 13-year-old Maribel Gonzalez. He's due in court tomorrow asking to withdraw his counsel. Police say Clemens lied, uh, led them to Celis's body in 2017. He was formally charged last month. Clemens is facing charges of murder, kidnapping, and sexual exploitation of a child. And a new poll on Arizona Senate race shows Congresswoman Martha McSally leading Democrat opponent by six points. The ABC OH predictive insight poll shows McSally has 47% of the vote. Kristen Cinema, 41%. 8% still undecided. Last month, McSally held a 49 to 46 lead over Cinema. A Tucson favorite has a new owner. EG's has been sold to an investment firm called 39 North Capital. The CEO of EG's, Ron Petty, says shares of the company have been in a trust since the founder died back in 2012. EG says there are no plans to change the menu at all. Petty says the new owners took on debt and are ready to spend money on remodeling as well as expanding all next year. And Kyler Diggs is taking a look outside. Kyler, we're getting ready for some rain. Yes, we are. Clouds are increasing and that moisture from Sergio is finally going to make it into southern Arizona and it's going to be a little bit cool and unsettled right on through the weekend and into the beginning of next week. We've got the moisture from Sergio moving in that we've got a low pressure system that's going to park over the area so that'll all add up to some rain and by the time we get into the weekend and into the beginning of next week we could see totals right around a half inch or so in Tucson a little bit uh, heavier rainfall amounts south of the international border. Here's the seven day forecast for you. We're going to stay in the 70s right through the weekend and into next week and a slight chance of showers each and every day even into the beginning of next week with overnight lows dropping into the 50s and lower 60s. Kyler, thank you. And that does it for us. I'm Stella Inger with Kega 9 on your side.